I am standing here on the West Reed Red Wine lot. The common denominator is West because both Mrs. Reed and Mrs. Redwine were born Wests. Uh, this is the reason that I got interested in Oconee Hill, the presence of the people buried on this lot. They were very interested in Oconee Hill Cemetery and they wanted me to be interested in it. Uh, Judge Henry Haynes West had died in the 1950s. I never knew him since I only moved to Athens in 1966. That year, before the year was out, I met the son-in-law of Mrs. West. Her daughter, his wife, had died two years before. And when it became evident that George and I were going to get married, Mrs. West started factoring me into the West Reed red wine family. And no one has ever had dearer or more loyal f uh, friends than I had in that family. Uh, not only did they teach me about the history of Athens and the history of Oconee Hill Cemetery, but they just included me in many things that I would have never been included in. And I am deeply appreciative. Uh, Ms. West was uh, a native of Walton County. She was a Robison and very proud of it. And she named her son Henry Robison West. He lives uh, in another state now. Uh, and she just had the son and the daughter. Her grandson died while he was on a visit here and he completes the West Row. The next row down is the Red Wine Row. And Lucy Leah West was first married to a Mathis and had two children by him. Marion, the West family really only uses two or three names, Henry, Andrew, and Marion, and they use them repetitively. And so Aunt Lucy's name was Lucy Marion, and Lucy Leah. And she first married Mr. Mathis and had the two children. And then later, she married Roby Redwine and had a son, Roby, who was called Bucky. And they complete the second row. Bucky's first wife predeceased him. And then he married, and she was Bonnie. Bo we called her Bonnie. Her name was Mary Juliet. And she was a Bonner. And after her death, he met and married Karen Welchel. And Karen has already placed her stone there on the other side of Bucky's. Bucky was very much identified with Athens Federal Savings and Loan, which has gone through a name change like every other financial institution in Georgia. But uh, Bucky did a lot of their appraising and he also did their investing, and he was a whiz at investing. Uh, Uncle Roby had been in uh, insurance, but by the time I knew Uncle Roby, he was retired. On the third tier down, we have the Reeds, Henry and Francis. Uncle Henry was a pharmacist. His drugstore was where Horton's is located at the corner of Clayton and Lumpkin. And by the time World War II was over, Uncle Henry was feeling a little tired and stressed and he thought he might die any minute. So he just sold out to Mr. Horton and he was retired for years. He lived into the uh, 70s as a retiree and I greatly enjoyed his friendship. And then Aunt Frances and I were just big friends. The mother of the West family was Marion Lampkin, and she was one of the charter members of the Ladies' Garden Club, one of the founders of the Ladies' Garden Club, which we all know is the oldest Ladies' Garden Club in America. And so the two daughters were big gardeners as well. In fact, they were, they were active DAR members, active UDC members, they were active. And one day, Aunt Luce called Aunt Frances, and the maid said uh, could, that she wasn't in the house. 
And Aunt Lou said, well, what's she doing? And the maid said, she's out in the backyard just appointing because she had a yard man out there. She had great executive ability. <laughs> but I, I wanted everybody to know that uh, if it weren't for this family, I would not be interested in Oconee Hill Cemetery because I wouldn't have had the introduction that they gave me.